Hello guys and welcome back to the Doc Mac car channel and yes as the video suggests this is the number one thing you need when you actually give your car a wash and that is a grid guard so for those of you guys who do not know what a grid guard is it basically sits inside your bucket like this like that and it's got channels down the bottom and all you have to do is just push it down and what that does is it actually sits inside the bucket and when your cloth actually is dunked in it actually dirt traps all the dirt below that so your cloth actually doesn't actually end up touching all the dirt which you had actually put in the bucket all right guys so now i am giving the car a wash as i normally do and now i've already pre-rinsed the car And now what I'm going to do is, it is going to pick up some dirt from the vehicle. And now if you do not have a grit guard and you actually put it back into the pail, like so, like let's say there's grit on this cloth. You see, it, the cloth actually stops here, somewhere around here, because the bucket is actually stopping the grit guard. The grit guard only goes down to about this level. So that is where it actually comes in handy there's no more grit on top of this level all the grit will flow down to the bottom and this grid guard will probably set you back somewhere between 20 bucks 25 bucks for a good one and now this is a 260 millimeter grid guard you can choose one of the size that you like and now this is a 15 liter bucket and as you can see I got grit on the cloth I just got to dunk it back in get all the grit out of it and then I got a nice clean cloth to put back on my paintwork so I'm going to actually wash the car finish it up and then get back to you with how much grit actually came out all right guys so there is the grid guard now the lesson to be learned from this one also is just for you guys i'd like to share this you want to get a grid guard which is a little smaller which goes more towards the base of your pail so that you get more soap solution to actually use with your car wash now with this one it is usable but you only get about from here to there much of soap solution that you can use for your car so always measure how much the bottom of the bucket is and you don't want to go too much higher than what the bottom is all right guys let's see what kind of grit it actually collected so this is the grid guard and i'm going to remove it now all right there you go it's got its little channels right here and now what i'm going to do i'm going to slowly pour off all the water and as you can see you can see there's a lot of sediments down there and that's the sediments you would have actually spread onto your paintwork so this is exactly why you need to use a grid guard all right let's let's take a look in there so now you can actually see how much filth there is stuck down there now this is how much the grid guard actually caught so had you not actually gotten that grid guard in there like so then what would actually happen is you will actually collect that with a cloth and spread it on your paintwork and do damage to your paintwork i hope this video has been useful and informative guys consider subscribing if you haven't already it's completely free to subscribe i've got a lot more useful car videos for you guys as well thanks guys have a great day bye